Hello, I just got kicked out of the clan. I'll have to be a lone wolf for a while. Hey, you there! Come here a moment. It's not often an adventurer shows up in this port without even a ship docking. You certainly don't look like the rabble coming for work. Or a pirate, for that matter. Whoever you are, you're gonna want to check in with Talva. He's not a fan of strangers meandering around without his knowledge. Come on, I'll take you. Don't get too far behind, huh? Silver Tongue's up there. Be sure to let him know Sandro delivered you, huh? Well, I could use the coin. <laughs> Please, sir, the Elder is terribly ill. Then go speak to Cadius. My responsibility is the port and the goods that go through it. Now go. I'm done with this. Oh, that village will be the death of me. You there. I make it a point to know every face that steps into my port. And yours, I don't recognize. So what business is it that brings another adventurer to the Bilefen? I'm looking for an ancient temple upon this island. Do you know of it? Ah, now I get it. You're with that wizard then. Explains your sudden appearance, at least. Can't fathom why you lot are interested in that place. Nothing but death awaits there. The temple is to the southeast. Easy to find. Good luck getting in, however. The swamp is likely to kill you first. Now, if that's all you're here for, go on. I have enough problems to deal with. Must be the wizard Talva spoke of. It seems we are both seeking entry into the Temple of Namari. You arrived just in time, then. Supposedly, we stand before an altar that summons the Temple's guardian, Namari. And I fully intend to awaken her. With the right magical invocations, the altar should come to life and summon Namari. After untold eons, who seeks an audience? Honored Namari, I am Jin from the Great Isle of Shansai. I have traveled the world searching for your ancient texts. And I seek an angelic weapon hidden within your temple. We need its power to destroy the corrupted shards of the World Stone before they fall into the clutches of the Burning Hells. If what you say is true, this is indeed a dark time. 
But has no one told you? What stands before you is no temple. This is a prison. Sargoth, the despoiler of life, has been imprisoned inside for millennia. My soul was bound to this place to ensure the Dark Summoner never escaped. But eternity is a long time. The power of the Nephilim has waned, and his connection to the Burning Hells has only grown stronger. He will free himself in time. And I am bound here, helpless without the three beacons. Return the beacons, and help me eliminate Sargoth before he unleashes untold havoc upon this world. Do this, and I will entrust to both of you what you seek. That explains why the altar was so difficult to activate. Three missing beacons. You know, on my way here a pirate was trying to sell some artifacts he likely stole from the temple. That may be a good place to start. What do you say? Interested in saving the world? The pirate was just outside the port when I last saw him. Let's try there. Maybe I know something. Our friend here is willing to divulge some information for a price. I have some experience dealing with these pirates, but we should also consult that silver tongue fellow. I'll pursue this lead if you'll go speak with Talva. He's been in charge of that filthy little port long enough to have at least heard a few useful rumors. Help! Faces are attacking the port! Lousy fetishes. Every damn creature on this island ought to be exterminated, if you ask me. Still, I... I owe you. And I assume you want something in exchange, so uh, let's get to it. Uh, what are you here for? Information. Three beacons of incredible magical power were taken from the temple's entrance. Have you heard of anything like that coming through this port? A few times. But like most things from that temple, 
Misfortune followed those damn relics. We don't let people sell stuff like that inside the gates anymore. But I may have heard a rumor or two. One relic was bought by an explorer years ago. Don't think the man ever made it off the island. The other is in a village to the east. But it sounds like that place is cursed. If you're going there, seek out Cadius first. More of those fetish demons. They are bold. I'll give them that. Preserved. Are you Cadius? Tell the Silver Tongue said I should speak with you before heading to the nearby village. He seemed to believe it had been cursed. Cursed? Bah, nonsense. Fools always claim what they don't understand is magic. No. Some creatures causing the villagers suffering. The trick is to find out which one, and kill the thing dead. If you're hoping to help the village, we should join our efforts. I was just about to search along the river to confirm my suspicions, if you'd like to come along. There! A villager! Guards they must have floated from upriver! The great cycle continues onward. See that? That's no magic. That's toxin. Something killed these people, injected them with that vile liquid. Damn thing's got to be put down! That body came from the village farther up the river. If you follow these corpses, we may discover what's behind this. isn't even here. Perhaps it lies in the Elder's home. Do you see this? Corpses everywhere! An entire village is lost! Where do you lead to help anyone? I'm going to search for the village elder's home. If fortune is with us, someone will have survived.
You'll see it in the next episode.